It felt great. It felt great being back home, seeing everybody. It was a great feeling. Uh, great dunk. So, yeah. Obviously, you're the, the math of guys in the WCAC semis right now. Are you yeah. going to be able to make it over there and talk uh, to us if you could send any message out to those guys before that I game? I sent a message before the game. Probably not going to be able to make it. Uh, we should. We should win it. My guys got it. So, I got, I got confidence in them. What was going through your mind on the dunk? Uh, I was just going to dunk on them. I just seen the opening. I was like, yeah, I'm about to dunk it. So, <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling now? How are you feeling? Your head or something? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine now. I was a little messed up earlier, but I'm fine now. Uh, I got hit pretty hard. Just happy we got the dub. And obviously, you know, first year here, what's your assessment of, you know, the year that you're having? And, you know, what do you think after going forward, you want to tell you going forward? Um, it's been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, uh, just learning from every mistake I made every game. Uh, learning from my coaches, the older guys. Uh, just taking everything in this year. Uh, doing everything I can to get better. So. Maybe some of your teammates or former teammates back that are still in high school, kind of what advice would you give to them about the transition of going from playing on that level to playing on a level like this? Uh, I would just tell them, keep working. <laughs> work on your body for sure. Definitely work on your body. Work on your game. Work on understanding the game. Take everything in. Uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. Just listen to the coaches and they got you'll, you'll be fine. So. Talk about some of, the, some of the biggest struggles you had this year, obviously. You go for being the guy, you're one of the only friends in the rotation. You've had some, some nights that you're not accustomed to having back in high school, but yeah. obviously some big games too. What's been kind of the biggest struggle for you and how you um, overcame that? Uh, just being every night, it's a, it's a tough game every night. It's like WCAC, but guys are much stronger. Just I just feel like my body, once my body develops, I'll be fine. That was probably the biggest adjustment, is getting my body developed because these guys are grown men. I'm playing against grown men now, so just getting my body developed. I think that was probably the biggest, biggest thing for me. Big scoring day from you and Tyler. Yeah. Coach said that you know scoring off the bench is super key. How's that been like for you, sort of having a game where you and him are both lighting it up? Uh, not even just scoring, just doing things on both ends. Uh, us just doing both things on both ends, hitting shots. Uh, that's a big plus to the team. So, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about your growth and both ends of court? I mean, you've been playing really great defensive ball, especially. Is that something to point the emphasis you put on in practice or something like that? Uh, that's a point of emphasis that I put on myself every day. Um, so defense first, uh, like the defense dictate. Don't let offense dictate your defense. Uh, so yeah. yeah. I think I just playing basketball. <laughs> you know, just out there. You know, just getting into a flow of the game, letting the game come to me. You know, not trying to force anything, and you know, and just just playing basketball, just being free. Any thoughts on the Hawkins dunk? Oh yeah, that was crazy. I was on the bench with that one. Uh, I was hyped for him. Like he's he's really grown into his own right now. Like and I'm and I'm proud to see. It. Like I really I really like what you're doing for us right now. Yeah, talk a little bit more about that. Obviously, you played at Howard last year. Uh, Hawkins, a DMP guy, like two years ago. Excuse me, but uh, you know you kind of know a little bit about this area, the town that's over here. Mm -hmm. What's been kind of as a leader on this team? How have you seen his development come along? And your relationship with him? Um, it's been huge. I mean, he's like I say, he's coming up along very well for us right now. I mean, we need him off the bench. Uh, he's like one of our spark plugs. You know, when he's playing well, when Tyler's playing well, you know, game is going to go pretty well for us. Uh, so just continue to talk to him, you know, and just know that, I, just let him know that he, I got, he has me for me if he needs any, you know, assistance, anything. So just, I'm just happy for him. Last year there weren't fans when you guys came down here. What was it like coming back to this area? With, you know, having fans able to be at the game? Uh, it was definitely pretty cool. I mean, I think last year we played them at, on their campus gym, so it was a little different. Uh, this year we got we got a chance to play them here. Um, you know, it's good always to play in front of fan, friends and family all the time. You know, just it's, it's always a fun experience. So you, last year, playing with James, you were kind of a little bit of a secondary role. This year you're taking on more of a primary scoring option. I mean, what, what has changed for you, you know, from last year to this year from a mentality standpoint? Um, just trying to be a little bit more aggressive, you know, just doing the things that I probably wasn't doing so much last year. I, I was probably more like the you know table setter last year, getting everybody involved. Um, still doing the same thing this year, but you know also looking for my offense as well. If you guys now uh, have you've won five straight games, what do you think has been the, the main thing that's kind of switched for you guys in, in this little streak that you guys are on right now? Uh, definitely uh, our defense. You know we've been ramping it up a little bit uh, defensively. Those like in these types of games, this is where we were, we lack a little bit uh, coming back around. Um, so just clean up the mistakes we made in games before and being able to, you know, uh, lock in on defense. That's been a really huge thing for us right now. Coach just said that you, oh, sorry. Coach just said that you guys did a good job of not hunting for your shots. You guys are really successful from three. What was able, what, how are you guys able to do that against Georgetown's defense? Um, simply put, you know, just taking what the defense gave us out there all night. Um, you know, a lot of, we had a lot of open threes and we were able to get in the lane, and, you know, and, and kick it to the one more and the guy was open. Uh, so just taking what the defense gave us out there. 
What recommendation would you give players who are looking to transfer to find the right landing spot for them? Kind of what was your process of, of ending up at, at UConn? Uh, I mean, I, I think it goes, you know, just going somewhere where you want it, even your first time out, uh, you know, coming out of college and coming out of high school, just going somewhere you're running. Or then if you're going, if you're coming and you're transferring, the same exact thing, taking that right approach, trying to get to know the coaching staff a little bit, you know, see what they're about. Uh, but overall, going somewhere where, like, you know, you'll be good and you'll really want it there. Two more regular season games. Do you feel like you guys are peaking at the right time? Oh, uh, absolutely. I mean, March is coming up, and this is where we want, we want to play our best basketball. So you know, just continuing and stick with it, and, and just you know, not uh, becoming lackadaisical or anything, and just continue to push because we need this, these last couple of games.